Good morning, this is Round the House with Kay and Tom. This morning I've just decided I wanted something sweet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make me a pineapple cake. I have pineapple supreme uh, cake mix. I have Pam for spraying my, I'm going to use it in a bump pan. They're easy to make to my opinion. You need some oil. I've got olive oil, which I happen to like. And I'm going to use a little bit of pineapple. And we're going to use three eggs. Three eggs. Okay. Just a little chili down here this morning. And I just decided I'm going to stay home, stay in the house. And I just wanted something sweet today. So, there's a, this is like I say, this is a pineapple supreme cake. We need three eggs. I actually went in the grocery store the other day and this is all they had was a large eggs and to me that's not a very large egg but we will say that's a large egg. So we'll, we'll put three eggs in our cake mix. We need a half a cup of oil, granola oil. We're going to get that stirred in here just a little bit. And we need a cup of water. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use a half a cup of crushed pineapple. I have got my oven preheating to 350. I'm going to put a half a cup of crushed pineapple and the rest I'm going to use water. I'm sort of going to mix that together before I pour it in there. And a half a cup of water together, mixing it all together. I have my cake mix and three eggs and a half a cup of oil. And we're just going to get this stirred in and then I'm going to take the mixer and really blend it together. Set your oven on 350 and let that be getting warm. I usually cook everything in the Ninja XL, but today I just decided it's cool. To me it's cold, but I know to a lot of people it's just cool down here. And I just wanted, that when you cut your oven on, it puts a little heat in the house too. So I just decided I would cook this in the oven. We're going to just blend this together. And what we need to do is we need to spray our pan with Pam. When you're using a bump pan, make sure you get all the little grooves. The 
experiences around the house with Kay and Tom. Please subscribe. Join my channel. Offer me your comments, suggestions. Okay. It's all ready for the oven. My oven is set at 350. So I'm going to bake it for 35 minutes. And we'll look and see what we've got. Let's set my timer. And after 35 minutes, we'll check it and see as if, it, if it's done. And after it gets crushed pineapple and fix a little cool whip with it, mix it together and put it on top after it, after it cools. And my timer has just gone off, so I took it out. Let's see what we've got. Well, it's not completely clear, so let's, I think we need to, I think I'm going to cook it for about five, ten more minutes. Let's go with five minutes to start off with. Then I'll be back again. Set the timer for five minutes, and we'll come back. Okay, put an extra five minutes on there, and it does look better. Let's just see. Oh, yes. That is a lot better. I think that will work. So what we're going to do is we're going to let it sit here just for a few minutes, and then I'm going to turn it over and put it on a plate. I'll show you the rest in just a little bit. I do wish y'all was close enough to smell it. It has got such a good smell to it. This is nothing but pineapple and Cool Whip mixed together. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and when I slice my cake, I'll have some icing to go on top of it or offer it if people would like to have it. And again, this is around the house. Kay and Tom, it's just a simple, quick dessert. Cake is uh, cool enough um, to let's turn it out of this pan. I've got a cake plate. We're just going to put on top of it. And let's see if I can get it turned upside down. There we go. You couldn't ask for anything to come out any better than that good it looks and we're going to let it cool just a little bit more I think I'll cut it anyway okay we're going to cut into this and let's see how it is Very, very moist. Looks really good. <clears throat> and I'm just going to take some of this Cool Whip, a little bit of pineapple. I'm going to put mine on it just like this. I had intentions of frosting the whole thing, but it needs to cool a little bit more, so it's your choice. Frost the whole thing, put it in the refrigerator, or just leave it like this. And some people may not want the Cool Whip on top of it. And again, around the house with Kay and Tom. Quick dessert. Nothing major about it. Come back to see me again. And this is the finished product. Pineapple cake with Cool Whip and pineapple for a topping. 